Okay, hi. My name is Kidal Sonny. I am a videographer. I am a music producer. I'm also a musician. Um, I play keyboard. I am an artist. I am a radio announcer. I am a television host. I am a comedian. I am a actor. I'm also an MC. I'm I'm an, I'm a creative. I create. All right. You don't have to be. Um, I mean, one of the days where you have to stick to this one bracket and. You know, if you're going to be something, you have to be that one thing. Um, I think if you have the ability or God has blessed you with the ability to create, then you create. That's what it is. So I create. Um, I'm an entertainer, you know, an all-around entertainer. And um, I mean, there was a, a point in time when, you know, being an entertainer was not even a, well, a, a career option, you know, growing up. Because, you know, growing up and they ask you, what do you like to be? I have to say, I want to be a policeman and be a fireman. You understand? I want to be a doctor, a lawyer, but um, it's safe to say that you know I've been blessed and I'm able to you know create for a living. I'm able to also use my personality. So just more, more than just being able to create and have the skills to create, I'm also able to use my personality for a living. Um, if you're talking about career options or whatever, it is possible, especially in 2021 in this new era in this. You know this new world of course it is possible to be a content creator for a living as a matter of fact we've seen so many people become entrepreneurs um you know heading in that direction and um you're kind of providing an intangible service you know sometimes because you know you can also put it on a cd and it's tangible eh? but that's for a different topic but yeah you also you provide an intangible service and you're able to you know generate income from that um in terms of you know me and you know why i decided to become a content creator if i'm going to be completely honest with you Ever since I was young, I was always the guy who was just attracted to the camera. Um, I got my first keyboard when I was like three years old, so I was just hitting it. And then after a while, I started to play chords, maybe two notes and then three notes. Um, I don't really think that I had a choice in the matter when it comes to learning the skills. Um, but, you know, as it relates to perfecting the craft or becoming a professional or, you know, getting to the level where you're good enough to get paid, or whatever I would say yes that was a personal uh, personal choice it was a decision because I I just couldn't see myself doing anything that I didn't want to do so when I was younger um, my father had a camera it was a, a cyber shot uh, the, the Sabate Bob yes three megapixels all right it was a camera and I used to use the camera to take pictures and at that moment I wasn't really too concerned with framing I wasn't concerned with being on things like Premiere I was just taking pictures all right that's what it was and um, I always knew too that I was not really drawn to pictures because I wanted to do, I wanted to create videos because I had a larger than life personality. I had a personality from ever since I was young and I can't explain it. I had a personality that was just one that was just, you know, different, all right? I would, I would give jokes, not because I'm trying to be funny, but because that's just who I am. Take it or leave it, that's just who I am. And then um, I realized to growing older, that I was not given the opportunity, and don't get me wrong, I, I understand how it is, I was not given the opportunity to just, nobody didn't just take it, I'll come and, hey, go on TV. I used to write to different television stations in St. Lucia, back in the day, there were not that many, and um, I used to say, hi, my name is Kidal Sonny, imagine me going to school, hi, my name is Kidal Sonny, and I used to tell them, can I get an opportunity to just, you know, host a show or do something on your television station for free, you know, so that I could just use it as, as experience, I never got a response <laughs> so then earlier on i started to realize that you know what if i'm going to make any headway in this industry or if i'm going to make this thing work for me because i was always very focused from the time i was a little boy focused on what i wanted to do and i um i figured if i'm going to make any progress or any headway in this industry i need to do it myself so that's why i learned how to do everything so i could have already played music i wanted to be an artist um, but I realized being able to play music does not make me or does not afford me the, the ability to be an artist So I started to learn to produce music from a very early age um, So I could produce my own song and if I can produce my own songs, then I don't have to depend on anybody um, I started to you know really start to learn the videography My father had another camera that he got when I was about I was in about form 3 or form 2 started to learn how to do the videos I used to use Windows Movie Maker because I figure if I'm gonna produce a song and release a song I have to release it with a video and if I need to release it with a video and I have the money then I need to be able to shoot my video myself so I started to learn how to shoot videos and um, how to be able to do, be my own director and that way I could be the um, entire package and I also had to figure out okay well if I'm going to be able to market my songs I need to have a platform alright so if I 
I want to be able to market the songs in order for me to have a platform and it will have something that draws people to me all right and then I, I used to give jokes so I figured you know what you know comedy is something that that could get people's attention I could get people to you know focus on me and then that way I could share my music with them um, and that's what it is um, funny enough um, around the time when I started to really take this thing you know to the next level started to get serious I would spend countless days and nights reading on cinematography trying to understand the camera um, trying to learn to shoot I used to get very depressed when I go out with my camera and try to see if I can shoot something with my camera and it just wasn't good I cannot explain why I would go and spend time and hours and sweat and I would feel like yeah you achieved something and I would come home and I'd be like boy go and sleep all right according to the little meme let me go in my bed and relax myself then all right it was just not um, a thing that you could just <laughs> learn overnight but I spent countless days and nights on YouTube countless days and nights reading and um, here's one thing I could tell you that that worked to my advantage I did get training so so the people who think that this was all natural I did get training because I was in a group called students performing arts company I joined that group and I was in about form one so they were doing plays I did I was acting in the plays so I learned how to do acting I also learned how to do lighting on stage I learned how to um, how to write how to direct um, from SPAC, Student Performing Arts Company, but I was also a member of the St. Lucia School of Music. And um, here's a fun fact, when I was at School of Music, I was already playing music, I was playing keyboard from ever since I was like three years old, but I went to School of Music so that I could learn to play saxophone. So I can play sax as well. It's been a little while, probably been about 10 years, but I could play sax as well. Um, and St. Lucia School of Music kind of like honed my musical talent and my musical ability so that way I'm not just a, a musician who can just play you know the ordinary soca I understand music I know music theory um, you know if I'm playing a chord I can tell you what chord that is I can tell you if it's you know a C7 if it's a C major 7 I can tell you what I'm doing and um, I could all I was also introduced to you know you know more music at the St. Lucia School of Music um, you know introduced to jazz because before I went to St. Lucia School of Music I thought music was just tack 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 but then now you get introduced to jazz and music becomes a lot more complicated so you know I will have to give you know that training that I got from SPAC the training that I got from St. Lucia School of Music you know I have to say that that helped me to become you know more of a wow factor as opposed to just being somebody with natural talent because natural talent is cool but I think that you know having the education behind it you know helps and of course going to school I did English um, literature did very well in literature I did theater arts as well um, going up the morn I did subjects like um, what did I do up the morn up the morn I think I did literature I did management of business and I did um, sociology as well and of I mean in all of those subjects you have to write a lot so I've been writing 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 and of course that helps me um, you know get a lot further in you know me being creative you know I'm able to not just write something but I'm able to craft and, and, and you know manipulate words you know to tell a story and in everything that I do in everything that I do the story is king the most important thing is the story if you're not able to tell a story in a way that the ordinary man cannot tell a story then it makes no sense um, for me it's more than just the joke it's more than just oh my god this looks good it's really about he has a very unique way a superhuman way if you want to call it that I want to be the guy I maybe I'm not there as yet but I want to be the guy who tells the story in a way that nobody else can tell it and um, yeah that's what it is when it comes to you know my training and my formal training um, you know as it relates to that um, but yeah so I learned to shoot videos I fell in love with shooting videos but I also fell in love with Facebook because Facebook when I started to do Facebook comedy videos I started to do Facebook comedy videos back in I think April of 2010 or maybe before that so I was probably like the first person in San Lucia to I guess blow up doing Facebook but I was doing it doing it with a guy named Dry Bones Dexter Felix and um, it allowed me to be in control now of my creativity so where I was I was in School of Music and I was in um, SPAC and I was getting lines to read and they were telling me what to do and they were directing me when I started to do stuff on Facebook and mind you I was doing that stuff on Facebook so that I can get a little forward you understand nobody not giving your boy a little shine I write into the I used to walk around I used to go SNS and buy CDs to put my song on a CD and go and knock on a radio station and say um my name is Kid Alson you can play my song they should say of course you'll play it once or twice I heard a song they didn't to play it you're not doing me that um but but yes 
So now that I was in control and I figured I was in control of my creativity and in control of my content, I realized that, you know, all of the benefits you know, that go out, that come, sorry, from putting my content out there would have all, like automatically been mine. And um, that was that was one of the beautiful things. So if I release a video, instead of, you know, people saying, that radio station really what because they play a nice song or whatever, people get to see that it's my work. I am in, in full control. So I get to lose and fail and get better as we go along. And then the people end up subscribing to me, which from very early, from a very young age, I don't know, God allowed me to realize that and that's probably the best thing I could say that ever happened to me in my career because I was able to do videos with Dry Bones. We had a group called Radio Out and Bad. I'm not sure how many of you guys know about Radio Out and Bad. We had videos like Texas We Go In, um, Mede, Pigeon Attack, um, um, Kung Fu Master. Oh, we did a lot, of, a lot of comedy videos. And those videos allowed me to create short stories and get better at telling my short stories. It also allowed me indirectly to shoot almost every day or every week so whereas I want to learn to become a better videographer and I would have to go and wait for something if I'm doing comedy videos I don't have a choice I'm shooting my own comedy videos it allows me to shoot every single week and every time you shoot and then you open Premiere you get better um, so it takes a lot of practice and I, I realized from a very young age too that I was just focused on being you know really good and I didn't realize that you know if you know talents like these Getting good means doing. You have to do to get better. All right. The more you do, the better you get. Um, so that was my situation there. So we were doing videos. Um, some of the videos were parodies. We had like a parody is like a, a funny version of a song where you change the lyrics but you keep the same melody and possibly the same instrumental. So we were doing parodies and that was forcing me to open Cubase, produce the parody, and it made me get better as a producer as well and probably also better as a um, musician as well. Um, looking back, of course, there were many challenges um, where, you know, acquiring equipment, the equipment for, you know, a field such as this is not cheap, it's very expensive. And um, my technique and what has worked for me in terms of acquiring all my equipment was just acquiring it over a period of years, you know, taking my time. You know, if I can buy a light today, I buy a light today. If I can buy a mic tomorrow, I buy a mic tomorrow. If I can afford the camera that I want today, then I wait see if I can you know save the money up and just really just taking it one step at a time and then when you get to the place where you have all your gear then it's even easier it's more convenient um, you know to make money doing what you do but I will always tell you at the end of the day the equipment is just one part of it story is always king if you could tell a good story if you could practice uh, telling a story from your phone and um, be able to put it out to thousands of people um, online then I mean you on you're, you're, you're on your way to being a successful content creator you, you're, on, you're on your way to also you know being your own boss and um, nothing is more rewarding than that so I work on the radio I work at Vibe Radio I'm a radio announcer in the morning um, from 6 to 10 so I have a four-hour job I'm also a DJ as well. I didn't say that, I also DJ as well. So I'm also my radio announcer and while I'm announcing, I'd rush to the turntables and I would DJ there as well. So I select my music. That's what I do in the morning time. When I leave work, um, I'm a digital ambassador, which is one of my jobs. Um, you know, I create content for digital, of course, to keep digital relevant uh, in the eyes of the public. I also, um, yeah, I make music. I would make jingles as well for certain companies. Um, if they need it and make jingles and um, one of the things that I do that is like my primary side business as well is that I do ads videography I do PSAs um, I create content for you know ministries I've worked for several ministries I've worked for Ministry of Education Ministry of Public Service Ministry of Health um, I've worked very closely with um, the Cultural Development Foundation the Folk Research Center, Center sorry um, and um, they able to hire me to not just use one of my talents so when i get hired to create a psa i would be the one creating the music bed for the psa i would be the one sometimes acting in the psa i would be the one shooting the psa i'd be the one editing the psa i'll just be the one-stop shop if you want to get a complete production it's because um i've been exposed you know to many different you know sectors um as it relates to the entertainment industry um in saint lucia i've also done some work abroad um yeah and that helps me that helps me um you know i guess be competitive it helps you know when i'm putting in a bid for a job you end up realizing well kiddo can do everything why not just get kiddo career choices if you guys are going to be you know 
uh, trying to get into entertainment and stuff don't just look at you know the performance aspect and you know the theatrics and you know get theater arts or whatever just remember in everything that you do when it comes to entertainment wise or, or content creation the first thing is content content is king so make sure that you have a proper you know understanding of the english language make sure that you that you you know take a little look at english literature it's going to be something that's going to that, that can help you um and yeah um this is the, the age old question of why do i need to know this you know you go to school and you say why do i have to why i have to do english i can speak english already um because you know when it comes to telling a story or being a creative writing a script writing a song it's more than just being able to speak english or, or to speak a certain language it's your command on the language how can you tell that story in a way that other people can because if you can say it, if you can tell a story the same way that other people can if you can tell me that story the same way that everybody can tell me that story then why should i pay you i'm not going to pay you i'm only going to pay you if i realize that you can tell that story in a way that nobody else can Hey, my name is Kidal Sonny. I'm wishing you guys the best in your future endeavors. And um, yeah, hey, I, I'm hoping to see some more content creators out there. Let me tell you, come for me if you're all bad. When you're all ready, Sonny waiting for you. We're good. We're all right.